Hi, it's Steph from the Daily Digi, and I am really excited to share with you my new organizational method that was inspired by Kayla Lamoureux of Digi Scrap 101. I learned pretty much everything I need to know from Kayla in her Lightroom class. It's a free class that she has on her site. I also did some learning at lynda.com, L-Y-N-D-A.com, but pretty much everything you need to know you can learn at Digi Scrap 101. I am applying this to my own method because I've always been pretty much a kit scrapper and I only organize my previews. I've used a file organization system for many, many years that's worked for me. I also tried to organize everything in ACDC and I spent a lot of time doing it. It didn't work out as well for me because it was so time consuming. I decided then that I needed something that was pretty much automated and would require a minimum amount of time for me to upkeep and I've definitely found this with Lightroom for my, my organization. So let's move over to Lightroom and you can see here these are my files that I have organized so far and you can see all of my keywords over here on the right hand side. When I first started keywording items I just keyworded with the tag preview and then I broke it up into whether it was a supply or a template down here. So if I wanted to pull up my templates, the previews for all of my templates, that's all I need to do right there is click on that arrow next to the templates. Then I can also go up if I want to just look at my digital supplies and I can click on the supplies tag right there and it pulls up all of my supplies. If I want to look at everything, then I pull up the previews and it will pull up everything that's been tagged with preview. So it pulls up the templates you can see and the supplies too. Once I got all of that done, I did start going through and tagging with more specific things. Here's my Dig Disney and amusement park kind of tag. When you import your previews into Lightroom, it's actually going to pull in all of the JPEGs within your download folder and so it'll pull in papers and all of that as well. So say I want to search on the word red and paper and see what comes up. And you can see that helps us narrow things down a little bit. It's not perfect and it's not going to be perfect, but it saves me a lot of time. I'm sure that if I'm looking for a red paper, I can find it in here just fine without having to tag everything. So let me show you how I put this together. So the first thing we're going to do is build a new catalog so that I can show you how I import things at the very beginning and how I tagged my previews. I'm just going to do this, name it this way, so I know for my own knowledge Lightroom will shut down and then it, it will open back up again. Don't let that panic you. I know it did me the very first time it happened. And it says click the import button to begin, which is exactly what we're going to do. When I start downloading a new batch of files, I set up a new folder, a new downloads folder to keep everything separate until I process it through Lightroom, just for my own sanity. And so there's the folder that we want to import. And it's going to import previews along with papers and everything else. So when this is done processing you can see that we have 1509 photos is what it's calling it but it's really previews any JPEG files that were in all of those kits because I have it set up to search the files and subfolders, subfiles so it's searching everything within that new downloads folder. So let's import these if you want to know more about the specifics for what your settings should be so that your database automatically gets saved and metadata gets written to your files, make sure that you stop in to DigiScrap 101 and check that site out because it has everything there that you need to know. We can start processing these and we want to set up a smart collection. A smart collection is just a collection of words that or anything that you want to be in this set and so I want all of the previews and that's all I want and I've gone through and found a list of terms that designers often use when saving their previews 
It's not 100% foolproof. There have been kits that I've gone through and discovered that this designer has their own unique naming system, and I've had to include that in my list. This list right here in this text file is what I've discovered most designers use. So we're going to select file name, and we want it to contain, and then any of these words, and I'm just pasting that in there with the keyboard shortcut Control-V, and then create. So now we have 133 previews in this smart collection. Let's click on that, and you can see here are all of the previews. Isn't that cool? <laughs> it was hardly any work at all, right? So now what I'm going to do is select that first image, and then go, go down to the very last image in this set. Hold the shift key down and click that last image and it will select all of those images. You can also use the keyboard shortcut control A and that will select everything within that group. I'm going to add a new keyword and with all of these they are all previews whether they're templates or fonts or anything else. And so we're going to create it, and it will also add that tag to all of those previews at the same time. So they're done. The next thing we need to do is go through and deselect anything that's not a digital scrapbooking supply. Okay, with just my supply previews selected, I'm now going to right-click and select Keyword Tag Inside Previews and this is going to be my supplies keyword tag and it will apply that tag as well so there we have it now we want to go back and select some of those templates that we deselected earlier and within that same previews tag we're going to create a new keyword inside the previews tag and this one is templates now to add a keyword, it's really easy just to select a template and just check the check marks next to template and that adds those keywords. You can also select a few and control click to select and add the check box and then you can, you can tag pretty quickly that way as well. Now if we wanted to, once all of that's done, we can add even more specific thematic tags and even go through and deselect duplicates like this kit right here has duplicate previews in here so I'm just going to uncheck those boxes and then the next time we click on previews those won't show up we don't need that many previews of the same kit so let's add another categorical tag to this one. Within supplies I'm going to right click and then create a new tag inside of supplies and this is going to be camping. And then we'll drill down and there you go we have our camping kit. We can click on that arrow and it will pull up just camping. If we go back to our supplies we can then add that same keyword to the paper and you can see some papers got in here somehow. I'm not sure how that happened. Something to do with the file naming structure and the smart collection. So we will just untag those and they will disappear as well. So I hope that's helped you a little bit and you can see how automated this is, how quick it is, and it helps me keep things organized but yet I don't have to spend a lot of time on it either. Thanks so much for stopping in. I really appreciate it. I hope you have fun getting organized.